Hello everyone, welcome to the ninth iOS tutorial. We are almost done with the boring part of Objective-C. This is the last episode for Foundation Framework, so bear with me and I will promise you we will go to the fun part of Objective-C programming. In this tutorial, I will talk about the last, um, but not the least, uh, Foundation Framework, which is NS number and some useful method of this uh, useful framework and also I will introduce you some new type which is ID and we will talk about it later and that's it let's move on okay let's define a property uh, with NS number so as you know right now non-atomic strong and this time we have NS number and then I would name the variable property and I call it my number and then we have to synthesize it synthesize my number let's go my number okay now we want to use it. Where do we use it? NS number, as I mentioned in earlier uh, tutorials, I just briefly mentioned, but here is the full description of NS number. When we want to wrap a primitive like integer, float, like uh, double, boolean inside of an object, make it an object, we should use NS number. So, for example, let me show you why is it useful. If I have an, an, an array, NS array, not NS string, NS array, and I, I want to define a local variable called local array equals, and then NS, oh, because we want to modify it, I want to use NS mutable array. NS mutable array, alloc. Of course, I have to change the first uh, instead of NS array, I should use NS mutable array at the beginning. So now I have an integer int called my int. Okay, and it's equal to two, for example. It's an integer and it's equal to two. And I want to add this integer inside of my array. So, what was the useful method in array? It was add object. So, I want to add a object, an object inside of my array by add object. So, if I just go ahead and put my int, let me see what would happen. It will give me an error, compiler error. It would say, okay, this is not an object, this is a primitive. So, I cannot add this primitive inside of the array because it's not an object. What should I do? I should wrap this with NS number and then I can easily add it to my array. So let's do it. Let's do it here and we can add it by useful method in uh, NS number and it would, it would say uh, and we would say okay self dot my number equals and here is how we can use this format ns number number with and since it's integer we would say int we have integer here but we don't use integer but it's int it's just three letters int and then I can add my number, which is my my int. So now I can add this self that my number inside of my array instead of my int directly. I can say self that my number, and it won't give me an error. So there's no error as a compiler error. I easily added my number inside of my array so it wrap it as an object and that's it we can easily use this for float double boolean 
but instead of number with int, we can say number with c. There, these are the available number with char, number with double. If it's double, have a number with float. And let me show you the boolean. If it's a boolean, we can wrap it, wrap the boolean. We can wrap the long. We can long, wrap the short type, unassigned character, and all of the primitive type so this is not only limited to integer it's all it has all of the uh, available primitive types by now you may ask what are the primitive types because I keep saying primitive types you have to wrap primitive side types and primitive types are including uh, the one that we use usually is int the integer and uh, one of them is boolean and the other one is float and the other one is uh, char, which is for a character. And the other one, if I'm not, it's double and short, long, long. As you can see, these are the uh, primitive types that we have in Objective C. And what else? Yeah, these are the things that we are usually using. So we cannot add these types directly inside of the array because that they are not an object. So we have to wrap them as first and then add it to a, an array and make it an object. One more thing that you should know about the primitive types is that when you want to define a primitive type like this, you don't need to put star. If you notice, when I want to define a local variable or also properties, I use star before any kind of property like ns number, ns string, ns array, ns dictionary, or ns mutable version of these properties. But I don't use star um, for these primitives. So if you want to define a variable, with these for with these types, you don't need to put star behind before that. So if I put star, let's see, the compiler would give us error. Uh, incompatible pointer integer conversion. It's it means that you just don't have to use star. Don't go through the details. I won't uh, I won't confuse you by the details why the star makes it uh, this error kind of error or warning. Just don't use it. Another useful method of NS number is for the time that you want to convert uh, primitives to each other. For example, if you want to convert integer to float, you should use NS number uh, method. For example, I want to convert this self that my number into float. So I just say self that my number and then say float value. Say float value. And I can easily assign it to a float type, my float equals. So it's as easy as like this. And also I can get the string value of it and I can assign it to NS string variable. And my string and equals to self dot my number string value so it's easy as this the next subject is type ID let me get rid of this and then we can have some space so let me show you why is it important that I dedicate the subject for this type we have a we can to define the ID and we name it like other variables on unknown type. This is how we define a local variable of ID. And also we can define a property for that. Property non-atomic and then strong and we put ID and on known p which stands for property and then we can synthesize it like synthesize unknown p equals unknown 
underscore, of course, unknown p. So what is it for? id is for the time that we don't know the type of the object. So, for example, if we have a JSON object, JSON is the type of response that we get or receive for sending messages in uh, JavaScript. So, if you want to s get an object and you don't know if this JSON is type of NS dictionary or NS array, you can put ID and then you put the if statement and say if this ID is kind of NS array, put this is as NS array. But if it's NS dictionary, put it as NS dictionary. Okay, let's talk about more simple side. It's the ID type is when you don't know the type of the object. For example, sometimes we don't, it's not even uh, the foundation frameworks, and it's like the title of uh, a label, which is UI label. So it's an object, but uh, it's not primitive, it's not property, and it's not foundation framework. So when you don't know the type of the object, you do you do use ID, and we will talk about this type later. But the reason that I bring it up here is it is important to know the, all of the types before going to the um, developing applications. And ID type, we will talk about it, and it doesn't need if you notice it doesn't need star like uh, if you remember we had we didn't have star for primitive types as well so if you use it the compiler will give us error but it's like the primitive types you don't use star and that's it